Welcome back everyone to Wellness Wednesday. Today we're going to be discussing ways that we can combat seasonal affective disorder. And one of those ways is working out, but more specifically working out outside. I know when I talk to a lot of people, they talk about how expensive working out is or how they don't have time, they don't have a space for the weights, they don't have all that. Well, guess what? This band right here, I got three of them, all different weights for 20 bucks. If you want to know where I got it, shoot me an email, shoot me a text. I would love to tell you where I got it. But back to the workout, back to the video. So we can combat seasonal defective disorder by working out and getting more sunlight. So let's combine the two. Let's get outside and let's work out. For the workout that we're going to be doing today, I'm going to show you about one or two reps of each movement. And you can do as many as you want to do. Um, just remember, it's about getting a muscle pump. It's about doing it right. And it's not about going until you're overly exerted. Again, I want to say that again. It's about doing the reps right. It's about doing the movements right. And it's not about overexertion. So the first one, we're going to step into our band. Get your feet about shoulder width apart. Press the band up to your chest. And we're going to do a shoulder press. The next one, we're going to have our feet just like we had before. We're going to put our band behind our head and we're going to do a tricep extension. After your tricep extensions, we can go straight into bicep curls. You can do your hands this way and get the long head of your bicep. Or you can put your hands this way and get the short head of your bicep. After you've done your biceps, you can press it up there again. Put the weight or the band behind your neck, just like you're squatting. From there, shoulder width apart. I like to have the band so that my knees are pressing against it. That way I know my knees aren't going in when I'm squatting down. And then again, we're just gonna squat. I think it's easier if you have your hands out in front of you when you squat like this, and you're gonna go down and squat. After you've done your squats, you can put the band around you. Depend upon how long your band is or by how strong your band is, you can either hold it like this and do a chest fly. Or you can put it down a little bit lower, grab it inside, go back up to where you were, and do the chest fly with more resistance. All right, y'all, so we've hit our shoulders, We've hit our biceps, we've hit our tricep, we've hit our chest, and we've hit our legs. What's one thing we haven't hit yet? We haven't hit our back. So how are we gonna hit our back? Well, if you have a fence like this, you can just put your band right over the top of it like that. If you don't have a fence like that, you can take it like this, wrap it around a pole, and pull it through so that it makes a knot on the other end. One thing that you wanna make sure before we do this, you wanna pull some tension on it, to make sure that whatever you have it attached on is as tight as it needs to be so it doesn't break off and you fall backwards. So when we do these, we're gonna be in an athletic position. We're gonna have our chest up, we're gonna have our hips back, and we're gonna have our knees bent. We're gonna have our arms about as wide as our shoulders, and we're gonna have our hands facing up or our palms facing towards the sky. From there, all you're gonna do is pull back and try to hit below your rib cage. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to rotate your hands in so your thumbs are now facing up like this, like I'm going to shake your hand, and we're going to pull to the middle of our chest. After we do that, you're going to have your palms facing down, and you're going to pull the band to your forehead. All right, y'all, I'm sure by now you're wondering, why does he not have shoes on? Well, I don't have shoes on for two reasons. I'm trying to stay grounded, so I'm trying to get the energy from the ground so I can put it all through my body. Another reason I'm not wearing any shoes is because I'm working on my feet and my toes. So our toes and our feet are made to grab. You're supposed to grab with your feet. And most of the time with our shoes, they keep our feet too compressed. Our feet aren't really doing what they're meant to be doing. So I don't wear shoes for those two reasons, because I want my feet to do what they are made to do, and I want to be able to get the energy from the ground to my body. As always, I appreciate you watching. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions about more movements you can do, more exercises that you can do, reach out. I would love to help. If you want to know where I got these bands from, also reach out. I would love to help you there. As always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something, and I hope to hear from you soon.